They're picking up trash. It looks like it's still pretty foggy outside in the downtown area. Yeah, at this point, the fog is hit or miss in the downtown area. You can see visibility. You have a couple miles at best. Uh, if you head up north, you're going to see a variety going from foggier to even better as you make your way north of Ridgefield up towards Kalama. More sunshine up that way. It's 42 right now. Portland wind is calm and your dew point at 36. So we have all the right ingredients for another night of fog tonight, but we have a new system on the way, which could help mix things up a bit and allow us to escape the fog for tomorrow. We'll keep you posted on that low 40s for you overnight tonight. So visibility right now, the worst of it down towards Salem, where you're getting uh, down to about two to three miles. Again, you're going to have pockets where it's worse, gets better. Uh, nothing too uniform at this point. Along the coast, you have good visibility at least 10 miles or more. Okay, Stoller Winery. It is 38. When you're locked into the clouds, when you are under this inversion, temperature just doesn't go anywhere. And that's what we're seeing right now out towards Stoller. And visibility not looking so hot there. Okay, let's take a look at that freezing fog advisory. Uh, that's going to be in effect for portions of eastern Oregon and Washington. Uh, that's due to the fact that temperatures overnight tonight will easily get down to freezing and we are expecting fog for the area. It won't really be until we roll into uh, late Tuesday and Wednesday when we get that next system to come through and really help mix things out for the entire state. How about the air quality though? Because that's been something that we've been watching carefully over the weekend and into today. You can see a variety going from the good category to the moderate category when you don't have a lot of mixing and you have a lid on top of the atmosphere, then you get all those pollutants down low trapped and they don't go anywhere as you make your way out towards eastern Oregon and Washington Kennewick another area where you're looking at you know air quality in the moderate category otherwise you're doing pretty good right now your temperatures along the coast are in the low 50s that's the warm place away from <laughs> the fog and the clouds so let's talk about your planner for tomorrow tomorrow chance to see just a few showers but these are going to be the light variety at best, we might be able to collect about a tenth of an inch at the most. Right now, Lincoln City, you are looking good. A little bit of sunshine for you. Just a touch hazy, but otherwise a very nice day out there. 51 at the coast. Rain chances, you can see it increases as soon as we get to those late night hours, really overnight into early tomorrow morning. So for your morning commute, some isolated showers in the picture. We roll into the rest of Tuesday and we'll see the isolated shower here and there and then pretty much coming to an end by Tuesday night. And then Wednesday we'll see another chance of rain in the picture for the rest of the day. OK, how about your rain totals again? Tomorrow is a very light variety day for rain at the coast. You might be able to pick up about a quarter of an inch, but again, less than a tenth of an inch for us up and down the I-5 corridor over to the Dalles. Not expecting more really than a trace. Wednesday, Wednesday brings a little bit more rain again at the coast. We might be seeing anywhere from a quarter of an inch to a half inch and then adding it all up through Thursday into Friday morning. We might be able to come away with about six tenths of an inch, but considering for the start of the month, we had more than four inches just right away and now we're kind of slowing things down. So this is the light variety rain for us overall this week. But those snow levels, we're going to see big fluctuations. Now, when can we see more significant snow. That's something that we're looking for in the forecast. That is important. We need to keep that going. There's your seven day forecast. So your temperatures are, are actually going to be rising here in the next couple of days. We're going to go into the lower 50s with a few sun breaks. You know what I just realized that today is called Blue Monday. It's considered the most depressing day of the year. Is it really? Yeah, the third Monday of January it is. I just thought that was like a New Order song. I didn't know. It, it, yeah, it does sound yes. like a New Order It's a great song. song. Yes. yes. So play it. Maybe you'll get pumped up. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Coming up. How